This is a demonstration of the Foofix bearing kit installed into an existing wing here and on this top wing there's no bearing kit and it's exactly as installed originally. This plane has flown for several seasons now so it's had quite a hard life. It's actually a, a Bretta Precious S3B model, a typical three, three meter competition plane. The servos are Sanwer SDX 762s or in the rest of the world they're known as Airtronics 94761s. So pretty good mid-range servos. Now on this wing, this top wing where the bearing kit hasn't been installed, we can look at how this servo is fed and how the linkage is fed um, after all this usage. So if I just waggle the flaps here, there's probably about 4 mil movement there and this is the one that's had a bearing kit retrofitted um, the servo itself has had exactly the same wear and tear and if we look here there's considerably less movement and a lot less slot from the servo so we'll look at the top one again it's, it's not bad I mean it's not bad enough to change the servo um, but clearly you can see quite a bit of play. Okay, finish. Okay. Let's have a look at this um, servo without the bearing kit a little bit more closely and see where the play actually is. So if I just move this up and down what you can see is um, some play in the gears but also you might be able to see that the, the arm is actually rocking, the head's rocking on this servo and that's contributing to the play. Now if you look very carefully, I don't know if I can demonstrate this, if I just move this a little bit harder, the actual servo itself is moving. What's happening is that the skin's flexing. The way that this servo has been installed, it, and it's fairly typical the way it's been done, there's a, a wooden servo frame here and the servo is being glued into that frame so it's just attached to the top skin and when you move it all these things are contributing to the play that you're getting now let's look at the other servo now stop now this is the second uh, wing the bottom wing with the bearing kit installed what you can see now is when I wag this surface I'm actually moving the wing it's um, it's very very tight so just to show that the servo is not stuck the surface actually moves the bearing kit has virtually eliminated all the head rock so the only play that you're getting now is from the gears the servo itself it's been attached to the bottom skin. So the servo is actually sandwiched between the two skins. That makes a very solid platform for that servo to, to, to live in. The skin flex is virtually eliminated. And these are the results. Okay. Okay. So there you have it. This one without the bearing kit, this one with the bearing kit, a servo installation that had quite a bit of play has been saved by using a bearing kit which will give it you know, quite a bit more service and it's, it's, it's basically saved a servo that you thought is on its way out. Um, and as you can see, it works very effectively.